Hey guys, uh, thought I'd just take a look at the uh, PC demo for XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Uh, this comes out here in a few weeks. Uh, the demo is not, it's not great about representing the game, but it is cool. So rather than make anyone pull six gigabytes down and try it for themselves, um, I'm going to just show briefly uh, the kind of the uh, second half of the demo, uh, the meat of the demo, so to speak. Uh, I just got through the first part, which is really uh, kind of tedious because it's one of those tutorials that's you must do this, you have to do this, you click here, you click there, and then it, it walks you through how to do very basic things like shooting and flanking and stuff. So um, I'm going to skip all that and just get right to the, the best part. Um, when, the, when the real game happens, I'm going to turn the tutorial off. Uh, and do a blind let's play having never played the full game on uh, classic difficulty uh, Iron Man mode so I can't reload my game uh, but for now I did hack this demo uh, one of the uh, configuration files so that it's in classic difficulty mode which I've never played before I never tried it in classic so this is gonna be kind of interesting to do the second and a little more freeform mission in classic difficulty. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is pick where in the map we want to be. And obviously for the demo it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't even know what the Affirmative. bonuses really are. are coming home. Um, but we'll, we'll do our thing uh, here in a moment. There's a really quick look at the base. A ridiculously short look at the base. You can basically have to do like a couple things. I'll show it to you here because it takes like a minute. Um, and then we'll take a look at the real actual mission. Unfortunately there's a lot of cutscenes in this tutorial. I'm gonna skip Welcome past them because, HQ frankly, uh, the they're barracks. not they're not super Commander interesting to, the uh, um, to me. Anyway, uh, if you are interested in the the narrative part of it, which there's not a lot of narrative in XCOM, aliens invading. That's kind of all you need to know. Uh, but there is some there is some narrative. There's some story stuff, and I'm sure in the full game there'll be a lot of kind of interesting things happening, um, set pieces that ha occur. Um, you know, uh, every time you play, um, but for the most part, you don't get that. It's a very sandbox, open world, uh, randomized, procedurally generated game. So let's go to the barracks, look at what it wants me to do. Um, I'm using the PC uh, user interface. I don't have a gamepad plugged in. You can use a gamepad. Uh, actually, the gamepad looks like a real slick way to play this game. Um, but I, I'm going to stick with the PC interface out of, well, a lack of options, but also I'm going to talk about the differences between. The interface that um, I've seen people use with the controller on various streams and videos, and then this uh, PC interface, just a few of the quibbles and weird things to be ready for if you plan on using a mouse and keyboard. Not a lot of big deal, no, nothing nothing major, especially if you are previously warned like I'm going to do now. So let's uh, click on the barracks. Um, I think you can do uh, this is the barracks here, so we'll click on barracks. Commander. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, and which is my guys, there in the barracks. Uh, in the first canned tutorial mission, uh, got promoted. Uh, so only that's one just recruit a, from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Um, so he he's gonna level up every single time. Uh, so let's click on abilities. As you know, Commander, and every we have to wait different. for this guy to this talk before we can do anything. Shown an aptitude um, for heavy weapons. But again, as he gains additional combat experience. We should continue his training along these lines. Okay, stop talking. Again, uh, when a rookie green noob uh, gains his first promotion, he's randomly assigned uh, a class. In this case, I got a heavy. Uh, and so heavies unlock a uh, rocket, like he's a rocket launcher. So this that's cool. Will now Very cool. Rocket launcher, in addition to his standard yeah, see, weapons. he's just telling us the stuff that we already know, and you him. can't skip past him talking. Oh, it's, Dr. It makes people like myself labs, really hate this guy. Unfortunately, he doesn't really show up very often uh, outside the tutorial, labs. I'm told. Uh, so he has to go to research now. They want us to go to the research thing. We're going to meet her. I can skip past that. That's cool. Um, I can pick something to research. Uh, Again, it doesn't really matter. We're never going to see the results of this research, but this is a cool, this is a nice interface. So far, the PC interface for this um, navigating the base is perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't do anything special. It doesn't do anything badly. It's perfectly, perfectly fine. 
So let's just do uh, alien materials, I suppose. Thank you, Commander. Um, can I skip this past you? I can. Excellent. All right. Commander, now mission that's control. all we get to do in the base. Um, I don't think I can even really. I can look around a little bit. I can't go to like engineering and the hangar and check out the situation room. Unfortunately, um, that'd be sort of the sort of thing I look at in the full game when I do my the line let's play. So, anyway, uh, mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. All right. We've so we have some abduction sites. Uh, two of them, Chicago and Beijing, are being attacked by aliens. So we had to kind of pick, you know, where do we want to go? What do we want to do? They're both easy difficulty. It's over here, easy difficulty. The panic level of the United States is one point, and Beijing is also one point. They're both easy missions. Uh, in the normal game, these sorts of things will come up procedurally, very randomized. Uh, abduction missions, terror missions, special missions, all kinds of things will happen. You'll need to respond to them to keep the panic levels down to provide um, uh, a sense of assurance to the population of the of the countries you're you're aiding. Unfortunately, you can't be everywhere at once. Panic levels will raise, and if they get too high, those countries will pull out of the XCOM project, which reduces funding and other benefits that you would be getting if they were part of the project. Um, so, I, I get some rewards picked from here: 200 uh, simoleons uh, credits um, if I help China, or some scientists if I help the United States. Um, doesn't really matter. In fact, actually, it really doesn't matter because unlike the full game, no matter what you pick here, you just get one um, map. It's the same map every time. In the full game, though, the maps are generated. They're not randomly generated. There's uh, over 100 preset maps, 80 to 100 preset maps. And the spawn points, the aliens you encounter, a lot of that stuff within the map is randomized. Um, but the actual map itself is laid out statically, although it, you know they all look pretty nice from what I've seen. Um, instead, you will get um, maps that are unique to the locale. So, you know, you'll get some American-type cities in America, that sort of thing. Um, forests and woods uh, in other locations, things like that. All right, so let's just get to it. Commander, All right, so... Before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. We can pick who we I'm want to send. the liberty of calling up our veteran. Uh, his combat experience Our veteran who survived the last the mission by script, scripted to survive. Everyone else, we get, we just get a sniper, an assault, and a support. One of each of the four classes. Uh, they're squaddies, which means they're rank two or one, however you want to ca call it, if, if a newbie is rank zero. Um, and so they only have the one ability that defines their class. A sniper rifle can do a headshot. Uh, this guy gets uh, the rocket launcher. Um, the assault guy can do the run and gun, so he can move and, uh, twice and shoot. Um, and support... Hmm, I don't know what supports get for their default. Med kits? Looks like they can use med kits? I don't know. Smoke, smoke grenade, I think. Yeah, it's a smoke grenade. Yes, I'm sure of it. Alright, let's go to the mission. Let's see what happens. Uh, this, this is really more of a loading screen than, a, than an animation, but here's the globe. Um, their time advances as you moving around the globe and doing we things. It's uh, important to note, uh, well in the demo it doesn't mean anything again, but it's important to note that in the full game, as time is advancing, the aliens are playing their own game. Uh, uh, independently of what you're doing, they're doing their own thing, so you have to manage time and not spend a lot of, you know, waste a lot of time doing things. So, uh, begin the assaults. Let's get to it. There's a brief get ready to deploy. moment the of the you have to go United here, States. you have to do this, you have to do this, in this and even in this mission. This isn't completely wide open until area. a little bit into the mission. Get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So let's see how it happens. Alright. Love the loading screens. Very cool. Alright, here we're going to land. Four squad members to your initial group uh, that can be expanded with research and uh, money invested. Um, obviously, four is not a lot of units. Uh, up to six is a great deal Hold better. On, uh, you move out, let's right. see what's inside that building. Yeah, here's Your where we have to kind of. So let him check it out. This guy again. Okay, so let's uh, left click to select, right click to move. Okay. Now open the door. Um, Quietly. 
This is the so weird thing. Your this the is enemy. to press V or left click to open the door. Man, I had never got V to work outside of this one moment. So I'm just gonna get used to right clicking on doors, I guess. Uh, what do I push? Right click? Where do I right click at? On my guy? It'd help if I wasn't uh, left clicking, probably. There we go. Okay. Left click. Now take cover inside. It's important to know how to do that because uh, opening doors quietly. All right. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See Slam through a bunch of doors. There, Aliens know how to get to you. All right. So let's uh, select the heavy using tab, or you can just click on them. Uh, and we need to go up. Now we can actually use the mouse uh, wheel um, to zoom around, but I. This, see, the mouse wheels and uh, the zooming, changing elevation and zooming are two separate things. Uh, here's changing elevation. See, so you can kind of see the roof. Um, and as you go down, you, it peels away layers of the map. Um, that's important because some maps are going to have a lot of layers, uh, multi-level buildings and that sort of thing. Um, we're going to move this guy up here. Now, zooming is this. We pull the camera away uh, and closer and that is awkwardly by holding down the middle mouse button and then dragging the mouse around. Uh, that is a weird awkwardness that I don't I don't really like. I kind of wish that there was a I mean if there's a keyboard command to, to lower and raise the the height map like this, which I think works great. See I'm doing that right now. It's very quick. It's fine. I kind of wish um, there was a, a similar keyboard command for the, uh, the zooming. Uh, oh, but this is our first encounter with our first alien. Easiest alien in the game, but of course my guys are very low level, so low rank. Um, w, A, S, and D. This is W, A, S, and D. This, I think, feels fine to move the camera around personally. Um, I do uh, I do like having the game zoom out a little more. Uh, but I really think uh, this feels good. Now, I should note, in the options, um, I did crank the scroll speed as far to the right as it could get. I, I haven't tried it without it. Apparently, it's kind of sluggish if you don't do that, so I did do that. Um, also, just to note, I got rid of the action cam. I, I've seen a lot of action cam stuff that looks really cool from previews and stuff, but to me, a strategy game is just a strategy game that you play more from a top-down. I do like the third-person camera, um, which lets you have like the over the behind the shoulder kind of view of things when you're like taking a shot and stuff and I, I do like that so we'll we'll see how I change my mind uh, as time goes on I, I kind of have my own control now so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move now you'll notice uh, let me zoom out a little bit here uh, this blue line indicates how far I can move uh, and there's two action bars here below the health of the unit uh, this unit has six hit points and two movement action or two actions left. I can move two times. I can move and then use an ability like shooting or smoke grenade in this case. So if I move more than once, I'm now dashing, and the uh, cursor will change to let you know that hey, you're going to be using all your movement if you dash. So I don't want to dash just yet. What I like to do is get some cover. Now you'll notice the shields here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, these shields indicate cover, in this case full cover. Here's an example of half cover. Um, cover is directional, so if I'm sitting right here I have full cover from things on this side of the cover. But if a guy ended up over here, for example, I'd have no cover to that guy because directionally I got nothing to protect me. So I'm going to move uh, here with my, my character. Now I can see the alien. And if I put my cursor right, and this is the great thing about the PC version, I think. If I put my cursor right on this guy, is a little 50% above his head. I don't know if you can see that in the on the uh, video or not. 50%. That's my chance to hit. 50-50 chance to hit. And I, this is why I have the third-person camera on, because I like having this line-of-sight view. So I'm going to take a shot. 50% chance to hit. Now again, I'm playing on, on the classic difficulty, so this would have been a better chance to hit on easy. It would have been like a 70 probably or something like that. Um, but I'm playing a classic, so let's see what happens. I'll just take this shot. Nope, totally missed. All right, well that's fine. Um, see what happens here. I got another guy that hasn't moved yet. Uh, this guy is my sniper. Now he can see this shot. He can see the alien from where he's at. And snipers, I know this from uh, previous experience from watching videos. They can only shoot 
it takes both their action points to shoot. So if I were to move him to a better position, closer for example, he couldn't shoot. He could use his pistol. He could swap his pistol out and do like oh, not enough damage to kill it. 55%. Uh, this is, I feel good about this. Let's try it. I don't know why I felt good about that. Alright, so my turn's over now. I'm moving all four of my guys. Now it's going to be the alien's turn. And he is... Ooh. He's using a mind meld power to enhance another unit that I can't see. Now, an interesting note about this, um, and maybe this wasn't a very smart move on this guy's part, because this guy mind melding with a unit I can't see. Um, obviously, there's some behind these crates over here. Um, and... Uh, if I kill this guy, the guy he's merging with will die also. So, uh, you'll notice I'm going to rotate the camera. Uh, a brief note, that's the Q and E button. You cannot freeform rotate. You tap it once and you go to quarter turn. Tap it again, quarter turn. Tap it again. See? So, uh, there's just four points along the map you can, you can view from. This is actually fine by me. I don't have any problem with that. Um, that's just like games such as Tactics Ogre or Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, you just uh, spin around and get a better angle. Uh, I think uh, I think that works fine. Um, all right, well, my chance to hit 70% with my heavy assault guy. So let's just before you do anything else, let's just take a shot at him. And if we can kill this guy, we can kill them both. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe. All right, now hollow targeting. Um, I wonder if I can select my character again. Uh, let's use uh, F to get up and pick him. Alright, can I look at more info? Soldier info, here we go. Hollow targeting is an ability that this character has. Shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to any allies attack on that same enemy. So now he's got this hollow targeting debuff on him. This alien does. So let's get my sniper. We'll tab over to him. Now you remember he had a 55% chance to shoot before. Now he has a 65% chance to shoot and hit him thanks to the hollow targeting. Let's try and take this guy out. Okay, that's, that's a lot of misses in a row. Alright, well, let's have her try and do it. Let's have her get closer though. She's got a 60% chance right now. He seems really hard to, really hard to kill. Let's, uh, let's move her up a little bit closer and change that 16 to slightly better odds. And now she can see the guy he's merging with. Let's take this guy out. Alright. This is another problem I have with the PC interface. It's not a big problem, but I had to confirm every single thing. Like, it'd be nice to just be able to click on this and then shoot right away. Having to click a second time on the OK button or hitting Enter, it's not a huge deal, but it could be better. All right, let's try it. There we go. And the overload, psychic overload, kills that guy too. So we are we are sitting really good. No one's been hurt. That was a that was a that was good. If we had all missed this guy though. Um, this alien would have been buffed with a higher chance to hit and crit and bonus health, making him very hard. I'm surprised the AI didn't have this guy initiate the mind merge with this guy. Um, but, what are you going to do? Can't all be geniuses, like me. Ah, that was a joke. Okay, let's move her to cover. We're going to have her... I don't want to have her dash. Let's have her... See, if I run through here, she'll burst through this window, making noise. And I don't want to make a lot of noise, but I guess it's probably fine. It looks cool. Alright, that's my turn. Aliens get to go next. Alright. I don't know what's out there, but I think it'd be fun to fire a rocket and open up this. I can't. This is the range of the rocket. Can't go any further than this. Uh, a weird thing about uh, aiming, when you have freeform aiming, like a, with a grenade uh, or a rocket. Oh no, I can't actually aim further. So, what happened, this is the problem I was going to describe, and it actually hit me while I was describing it. I explained I'm using W, A, S, and D to move around the map. Uh, for some reason, when you're in free aiming mode, they decided uh, to have A, like I'm doing right here, and D. Rather than, rather than move the map around like it's been doing, it selects a different ability. So I pick um, rocket, go to fire it, and I push W to move forward, nothing happens. Push D a couple times, yeah, it's just weird. So W, A, S, and D works great to move the map around unless you're trying to aim with a rocket or something like that. 
then you had to use the mouse cursor. Uh, this is a great range. I'm going to fire at this and see what happens. Shaw destru destructible terrain. Get it. Boom. Look at that. Open that all wide up. No aliens in there. Uh, doesn't look like anything anyway. But you'll notice that the terrain is now destroyed. You can actually see in there. You can see through it. Um, even. Let me zoom down a little bit. You can see all through there. Very cool. Um, that's, that's important. Uh, so let's... Okay, I'm going to move her up one point of action. One action point up. A little closer. I'm going to actually put her on Overwatch now. Overwatch will let her reaction fire against an enemy that moves in her line of sight. Um, let's get the sniper in the, um, closer to the action. He's been a crack shot so far. And let's get... Um, Let's get my uh, support unit up here, too. She might as well... I want her to dash. Let's get her to move just one one point so she can also go in Overwatch. Alright. That's my turn because the Heavy uses whole turn to shoot that rocket. Okay. No one's coming. So let's go ahead and risk dashing with uh, my Heavy unit. Can, they're very agile. They can get around pretty well. Climbing drains, pouts, and stuff. Alright, so there's nothing out here this far, anyway. I, now, it would be really stupid for me to take this uh, character and run right up here, because there's almost certainly something in here, uh, I would think. So let's, uh, instead of doing something stupid, let's just move one point of movement up here. This is a yeah, disturbing there we go. To say the least. Those are called floaters. Because they can float. They can fly too the though. Um, I mean they the can fly off the sure. map and land somewhere else. That's very scary. Alright, now the reason that he's yellow is he's flanked right now. And he's flanked because he's got a line of sight by these two guys and probably my sniper can see him too, I bet. Nope. I guess just these two guys are flanking him. So 74% chance to shoot is actually pretty good, and I see no reason not to have her take it. With an 80% chance to critical. Uh, take him. Yes. Critical hit takes him out. I feel good about how this is going so far. Alright, let's, um... I don't want, I don't want my sniper to, 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 uh, get too close, obviously. He's better farther away anyway. Uh, I know there's another, another floater over there somewhere, and now I can see him, but I couldn't react to him. He is right here, though. He's going to probably shoot her next turn. Hopefully he misses. I guess not much more we can do about it. I could move her here. Uh, she has an assault rifle. She could probably hit him. Or at least get a shot at him. But she'd be in open cover. From right here, she wouldn't. Uh, she might be able to take a shot at him. But if she missed, she'd be out wide open. No bonus to her cover. Um, I don't think that's a great idea. Let's just move her up here. She can see him. Oh, 70% chance to hit him, even. Oh, that was a good idea. Let's try and do that. Nope, missed him. Alright, well, that's fair enough. That's Damn it. That's a good shot, though. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's taking a shot. Oh, yep, she, he, he killed my... Killed my, uh... My, uh, assault. My assault unit. That sucked. Okay, so let's uh, let's show him what's what. We're gonna, we're gonna throw a frag grenade at him. That'll also open up a line of sight for my sniper. Finish him off. There we go. All right, didn't quite kill him though. Uh, but let's see, my sniper can finish him off now. Soften him up. Oh, that's my assault. No longer a threat. Got no ammo. Oh, yeah, ammo is a thing in the game. This little icon here uh, for the gun, uh, it empties as you shoot, suppress, overwatch, you know, basically fire bullets and stuff, and you have to spend a turn reloading. There's no limit to your ammo, but you do have to manage it as far as, like, uh, things like uh, um, what are you going to do with your ammo. All right. God, it's too bad that she died, but it is the demo. But it's a pretty indica good indication of how easy it is to just lose a character out of, nothing, out of nowhere. Uh, why don't you hunker down? What does that do? Doubles cover bonus, provides immunity to critical hits, but reduces uh, sight radius. That's fine. 
hunker down in case someone pops out of the darkness at us. Alright. I think... Well, I think that's probably a, that's probably a good look at the, at, the, at the demo. I mean, there's not much more left. There's a little bit of a surprise here at the end that's not really a surprise to anyone who's been following the game. Although some people who are watching this video may not be following it as closely as me, so it would be a surprise to them. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I'm going to say that overall I think this demo is indicative of the game itself being extremely uh, uh, cool. Very, very cool game. I'm very excited to see um, what we can get out of this uh, full version. The demo itself, maybe not worth checking out. I mean, like I said, you've kind of seen most of it right here already. It is fun to play like I'm doing right now, just to get in it when, with, without the hand-holding and, and make your own choices and, you know, throw grenades and and uh, reload your weapons and I mean you know just do the play the actual game that's kind of nice um, but it, it's also one of those things where uh, you you know you, you gotta kind of um, get through the beginning part which is not not super fun so so this is fine I got to show you some of the fun parts of the game I hope you enjoy this little quick look at the game uh, based on the demo and in a few weeks, I hope to be recording uh, the same kind of video, only in Iron Man mode, and it'll be the full version. So my choices will make actually uh, sense and mean something. All right, thanks again for watching. Uh, stay tuned to my channel for more information on XCOM uh, Enemy Unknown and, uh, when it drops October 9th.